brand new city of tweaks for your device i gotta say thank you guys so much for all your support um the last two videos did amazing so i'm here with another one so hashtag another one so this first tweak is called upip and upip which stands for you picture in picture is going to enable picture in picture mode on your youtube application so if i go into the youtube app um, i have a video right now playing well it's paused and if i play that video right now and i go to the home screen it's going to enable picture in picture mode so that is with the youtube application a lot of people have been begging google to have some kind of picture in picture mode on the youtube application but with this tweak upip you can accomplish that i can go into the settings app i can go to my messages while i'm watching my youtube video here now before you even install this tweak you will need to add this source i throw it on screen somewhere and you will need to add this source in order to install that upip tweak and you will need to have some kind of force in picture tweak now i highly recommend you guys install it from the the repo so i also throw this repo down below you cannot install this force in picture tweak with the big boss repo now this next tweak is called fu gap so if you have an iphone 10 this one is for you if you swipe down from your control center you normally have like some kind of gap on the top that ugly gap can get in the way um so this is going to make things a little bit more neater everything is on the top and if you have some more toggles it's going to just be nice and neat without having that ugly gap on the top so there are some settings to configure with this tweak um so if i go all the way down to fu gap and by the way i like the name too fu gap uh, you can show the status bar or you can hide the status bar if you like. Uh, I like to hide it, so let me hide that and you will... Oh, you don't need a respring. That's cool. So now I'm hiding the status bar and that's pretty cool. It gives you it gives your device a nice little neat look or the iPhone 10 a nice little neat look. So I highly recommend it. That is called FU Gap. It is free. Hide your status bar. Get rid of that ugly gap. Now this next tweak is called EQE. So all it is is just a system-wide equalizer. So if I go all the way here, this is how the app look. And basically all it is is just an equalizer. So if you're watching a YouTube video or you're watching a music video and you have a nice little stereo speaker, whatever, you can actually give it some more sound. So uh, it's just gonna put some more sound into it. But be careful, you can blow out your speakers. Uh, it is possible. So just be careful with that. And it's gonna sound a lot louder. You have some presets here. Um, so as you guys can see, uh, yeah, you guys can see it. So you have um, classical, club, dance, earbuds. And if you use Apple Music, you have this EQ and you still have the stock EQ. So it's more sound and more bass. So I highly recommend this tweak. And this is like an alternative to Equalizer everywhere. I mostly use Tidal for my streaming music and I hear the difference, trust me. Um, I wish I can play some music for you guys, but you know copyright is real but just take my word for it eqe will improve the sound if you have the right setting so once you play around with these sliders you have that perfect amount of um sound for your needs well for your ears i should say now this next tweak i love this tweak it's simple but effective lately i've been doing a 30-day challenge so i'm just trying to you know i mean stay fit go on the treadmill lift some weights etc and I'm just trying to get my weight up. Now, what Live Rings does, if you have an Apple Watch, I think you will be interested with this tweak. All it is is going to take the normal activity application and it's going to make it live. So if I make some steps or if I work out right now, this ring is going to definitely, um, you know, it's going to definitely go. It's active. Now, if I go into the application, just to show you guys it is real, it's exactly the same. So normally, stock is not going to show you that. And I think maybe iOS 13 should have this feature. Cause you know apple like to take some inspiration from the jailbreak so i think this is a great tweak it is called live rings now this next tweak you will love this tweak if you care about your privacy or if you have your loved one like to be nosy or whatever you will love this tweak so if i go into my photos it's going to require me to scan my face now right now i'm behind the camera so let's try that again and now i'm in my photos if i want to get into my messages same thing you have to use your face ID or your touch ID depending on your device this is called shield 11 and I highly recommend it if you have a uh, if you're in a relationship or if you have someone that's nosy you will need this tweak you can lock um, you know individual apps uh, so let's go into the settings just to show you guys uh, so shield 11 and of course you need your face ID to actually change up some settings and here are the settings right here so you have um, for folders uh, you can lock some apps so any app that you can think of so all the apps on your device you can lock you know possibilities are endless you can lock everything if you want 
you can lock the um, folders you can lock the apps and yeah that's pretty cool that's shield 11 and it's free it is alternative to um, bioprotect and it's free so you can't go wrong free you know now this next simple tweak is called haptic passcode so now if I go into my lock screen every time I type it's gonna make like some kind of haptic feedback it's gonna vibrate your phone um, so let me hold it over the mic so you guys can hear I hope you guys can hear that um, it's just so satisfying when you press the keys you have some kind of response you can actually change the intensity so you have soft medium and hard so it's up to you but my cup of tea is hard <laughs> all, right, uh, all right let me see how the hard one is and that's what she said yeah so you can really feel it oh my goodness I just screwed myself now this next tweak is called jumper and as you guys can see on my lock screen on my iPhone 10 you guys can see I change up the toggle so I have my music application I have the YouTube here and they work so if I 3d press let's enter in that passcode and look I'm in the music application same thing with YouTube so if I 3d press scan my face now I'm on the YouTube app now so you know jumper is gonna customize your lock screen controls you could change the shortcut let's focus that in so I have YouTube here you can also have some toggles but the toggles for me it didn't really work uh, I try to have like a do not disturb toggle but it wasn't working for me but it was working for the application so keep that in mind if you download it it might be some updates down the road to improve that now this one here is called tracker now um, you could 3d press your Apple music icon and now you're gonna have some media control so you could play it you can go to the previous track I'm playing this track because my Apple music actually expired I need to renew it after this video and this is the only free track that I can find right now and as you guys can see it doesn't really work well with my dark mode so I'm going to disable that so you guys can see so yeah so media controls right there on the fly if you use Apple music this may come in handy for you and you can even have it as your um, notification center so you can have your music widget all the way to the top and now you have your media controls right there on the notification side so that's pretty cool and that is tracker now this next tweak is not working for me currently but it may work for your device uh, and it's called no slow animation so no slow animation is gonna speed up your animations within your device or maybe it's moving fast I don't know who knows Maybe it is working, but no slow animation. Keep an eye on that tweak. Maybe it'll work for your device, or maybe there'll be an update. So keep an eye on that. Play Fortnite with no problems on your jailbroken device with a tweak called Fortnite Bypasser. If you love Fortnite on your iOS device, you're going to love this tweak, obviously. It's a given. And um, normally it starts to crash. As soon as you jump off the bus, that's when it starts to crash. But with this tweak, you can get out the bus with no problems whatsoever. How do I attack? Oh my god, you guys get the idea. If you send your text messages to the wrong person, you need this tweak. And it is called send delay. So if I launch my uh, messages application, I can send a quick little text message. But wait, you see that little red um, arrow? It's a couple of seconds. So it gives you time to really read your text message, um, see if you send it to the wrong person or not. So it gives you time before the actual um, message sent. So um, let me go into the settings and you can uh, set the the seconds so mine's is 1.5 seconds so you can extend it all the way up to 5 seconds if you want 1.6 seconds I think that's the sweet spot in my opinion and last but not least guys we have a tweak called high status bar items simply hide some elements on your status bar so you can enable the tweak of course and you can just basically hide the elements that you want to hide and that's it this tweak is completely free and I highly recommend it if you want to aim for that minimalistic look. And if you want to apply the changes, of course, you would need to respring your device. And there you guys have it. Those are my tweaks of the week. Um, I know they're a little short compared to last week. It just this week went by so fast. I haven't spent that much time on Cydia. And by the way, RP Cydia, Cydia is going to go away soon. It's going to be replaced by a, um, another app called Silo or Silo. Something like that. The Electric team is making their own Cydia. So, um, video on that coming soon. Whenever it comes out, I'll probably make a video on it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, appreciate it with a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new around here for more tweak videos and other videos. Um, not just Apple or Jailbreak related. Just other videos in general. Alright guys, until next time. Peace. 
Another thing too I wanted to let you guys know, I did give my MacBook Pro to Apple to replace the battery and the screen. It's going to take them like about five to seven days. So five to seven days with no laptop, that's going to suck. But I do have a Mac downstairs, but it's going to perform really, really slow. It's 2009.